Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition. This knife is from my guy, Frank. This is a Craig Wheatley. Now, I just opened Frank's box of knives. I mean, I had it open. This one's going to take a minute. We're jumping right in this video, guys. I'm going to show you probably 30 knives. I'm going to need you to listen fast. I'm going to speed this video up so that we can get all this in. Now, Frank, I love you, brother, but your handwriting's like mine. This is a Craig Wheatley 01, I think, Buck Cerakote Skeletonized. This is an 01, uh, let me just show you, and I'll shut up. This is from Craig Wheatley. It is a one-off. It is a beautiful knife. It's a skeletonized handle. The damn thing feels insane. I believe it's an 01 tool steel. That's what I'm thinking here. Beautiful, beautifully done. Got some nice jimping there. Now, it comes in a that whatever the hell that is sheath all right so this these knives are going to be from frank michael morris file push knife emerson legriff modified by richard desperina a dirk pinkerton titanium variable claw with carbide edge then david mary sent two custom knives a worn cliff in aeb l and then a paring knife in magna cut all right so those are handmade then we have a scar Strike Force, which I believe is in like 1084 steel. I just showed you the Craig Wheatley. Then we have a Paul and a Skorova a PS knife, which is an AEB L. It is a dagger, it is a test piece. These knives from Frank are one offs, okay? Um, and then we have a CAC custom knives. Now, for the guys that I asked to watch this video, so that we can separate things into bundles, here's what we're doing, guys. I've got a ton of knives that are all over the spectrum in price range. Here's that CPM Magna Cut. This is that Warm Cliff with Micarta handles. It's a custom. A lot of these knives you're gonna see right here are custom. They are insanely comfortable. So to my guys who are watching this, to put these kind of in categories, we have all kind of knives on all kind of price ranges. So to make everything fair, to those of you who are getting in this raffle, even though this is for Donnie, to make this fair so that the price point of each package is the same, I've asked some guys to help me out. This is a wicked little claw. And again, this is a custom knife. It's just a wicked stabber, dude. A little neck knife, self-protection type knife. I, 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 these things I am enamored with. I'm gonna tell you that right now. So, moving right along. This is that dagger in AEB-L. I love that steel, An another custom knife, super sharp, boot knife, really feels good in hand. Now I've got an extra large maul, but you can see right there, I got four fingers on it. All right, I know we're moving through these quick and I am sorry about that, but we've got so much stuff to try to get in, we got to do it. This is a handmade, this isn't the paring knife, but it's kind of like a paring knife and I believe this is in Magna Cut. We had two knives in Magna Cut very, very nice little custom knife, leather sheath. I love this. And Frank, dude, thank you so much because a lot of this stuff is one-offs. It's customs. They're one-of-a-kind pieces, man. Thank you. Really, really thank you, man. You guys have stepped up big for D-Bad. This one is one of my favorites. This one is an AEB-L. That looks like a little fishing lure to me. Warm Cliff Blade, man, that's just a dope blade. And I don't know why I got this vibe from it, but I thought like fishing, hunting, something like that. Really, really, really cool knife. Now, we've got, this is the custom, the CAC custom. Really good looking knife. I believe it was like a bell lock. I believe that was the deal. I'm still learning some of these guys, but this is a CAC custom. Really good looking folder right there. I love the handle scales. Great grip, pocket clip. Super dope. Moving right along, we got a couple more, couple push daggers right here. Frank sent a box of goodness. Frank sent a box of self-defense stuff. This, I believe, is the Dirk uh, Pinkerton with that carbide blade. See if you can get a good, I'm gonna have to get me a good camera. But again, another quick self-defense neck knife, a uh, pocket fix blade, a quick stabber. Love that thing, and I know that this one is a one-off. And then this is the file push dagger. I love the Kydex sheath on this thing, man. It's just dope. It deploys very, very quickly. You can carry it scout, or you can carry it on your belt. 
You can carry it inside your belt, however you want to do it. But if you just pop it out like that, I'm a sucker, and I'm dead serious, for a push dagger. It's made out of a file. So again, it's a one-off. They all, all of these knives are very, very sharp, good looking knives. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. My guy, 10 Man Collections, Jeffrey at 10 Man Collections, he and his father sent some really cool kind of vintage frost cutlery stuff that we could throw in. And I am so, so appreciative. Jeffrey's a special, special young man, a good hearted guy, comments a lot, has a really interesting channel. You might wanna check him out. 10 man collections. He does like some readings. He does stuff like that. He'll do knife reviews. He's done some cane reviews. He's a really, really, really good guy. And again, he and his dad sent several knives. I'm going to show you a couple of these pocket knives. Some vintage frost stuff, some hibbon stuff that's going to fill out some of these packages nicely. Great work knives. Those serrations right there are sharp as shit. When I see these type knives, guys, I think fishing, kayaking, taking them with you, um, work knives, things like that. Really, really great knives. Sent four, I believe he sent four uh, folders. I'm gonna show you, there's two of them. I'm gonna show you these two. All of them are really sharp. All of them work really well. This one has kicked my ass. This small one is a, is a sticker, wicked, wicked sticker. And again, another kind of a, a bigger serrated work knife. And then like a really, really cool stabber Got some nice serrations there. So some really, really cool stuff. It's kicking my ass right now. But thank you to Tin Man Man for thinking enough of us to throw these in. And then he sent some really, really uh, cool fixed blades. And I, I got, these are like throwback blades, man. They brought a lot of nostalgia. Um, this one looks a lot like the one Joe tested out and Captain Electro fixed for him. And this one just takes me back to my childhood, man. It's got a compass right there, got the razors back, two really, really, really cool knives. And again, I don't know why, but I'm kind of like with Captain Electro with these. They're great, you can sharpen them up, throw them in your tackle box, throw them in your truck. Great little work knives, great little fishing knives. And Jeffrey, man, thank you so much. And thank your dad as well uh, for thinking enough of Donnie to throw these in. I know that he is, is, is really, really appreciative and I know that, the, that, that you're just a good guy and special to his heart. Here's the last one that Jeffrey and his dad sent. Well, not the last one. I'm going to tell you about the last one. But this one's got a nice little recurve, great handle. Fills out the hand very, very well. Recurve blade there can sharpen up really good. And again, just feels really, really good in hand. I'm digging that a lot. And that was from Jeffrey and his tape. Jeffrey from Tin Man Collections and his dad. I know I'm getting a little ahead of myself and I am really sorry. And if you need to go back and pause and look at some of the knives, please do so. There's, we're, we're, we're not even halfway through. Um, so there's a lot of stuff to talk about and I wanna make sure I get it out and get all the information I can. To my veterans, man, thank y'all so much for being here. This channel raises awareness about 22 a day. I know that that's not an accurate number. That's why on the channel we focus on the number zero Anything over zero is simply unacceptable. And all that means is, guys, you're welcome here. You have a place here. Donnie B. All Day is a veteran as well. We're back to blue over here. We support Leo. Now, for a lot of people, they don't agree with that, and I'm okay with that. I have my own reasons. I've stated them many times, and, I, you know, that's fine. Um, how do you do it, Scab? Well, I don't break the damn law. And, again, there's some deep personal reasons there. Finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. Okay, so... We've gone through the knives Frank sent, the custom stuff. We've And dude, thank you again. And we've gone through some vintage frost stuff. Thank you so much to Jeff, Jeffrey, and your dad. You sent, they sent one more knife. It is a dagger. It is a World War II um, replica knife. Now, here's the deal. I have some eyes on the channel right now that I don't need, okay? Uh, some folks with YouTube been going kind of back and forth. So it's in my best interest not to show that particular dagger because of the imagery on it. All right, it is a replica. It has historical meaning and value, and I am appreciative for it. We will throw it in a package. We will raffle it off, but I don't want to push the envelope too far with that, and I hope you guys are understanding of that. And, and, and again, Tin Man, thank you for everything, but please just kind of know with that one, I got to be really, really careful. Now, my guy Sabo sent me a, a package as well, so let's jump into what he sent. This is the Prather War Buoy. Custom sheath, tech lock, belt loop, super damn dope. It's the tops. Y'all know I love 
my tops. I absolutely adore tops knives. But I don't know that it's ever been used. Great looking blade. That one's going in the raffle. Now, right here, a company that's near and dear to my heart. This is the Work Tough Gear Ninjuko, designed by Joe Flowers. An incredible, incredible dope blade, man. I love this knife, love everything about it. So you got a Work Tough Gear. Y'all know how I feel about Work Tough Gear. The next one is another Work Tough Gear. This is the Clopache. This is one, believe it or not, that I have not got to put my hands on. I'm glad I did. Dude, thank you, Sabo, for sending this, man. I'm going to have to petition Mr. Vic for one. I absolutely adore the way this feels. Now, moving on. And nobody does, quick commercial for Work Tough Gear, because y'all know I love them. Nobody does Kydex quite like they do. They do an amazing, an amazing job. Now, moving on. Sabo sent this one as well, a pinky lanyard on it. This is an S30B. This is a Benchmade. This is a Siebert design. I've never, here's what's crazy about Benchmade. There's only a few models I like. All of Jason Siebert's stuff, I adore. I have a Siebert uh, Bowie. I love that knife. I love this knife. Dude, thank you so much for sending it. So, you can see as we're going here, we've got a lot of name brands. We've got a lot of of old school brands. We got some custom stuff, that custom stuff, the, the old school frost stuff, the brand name stuff. You can see how we're building here and you can see my quandary trying to put these packages together. You also could just see me dropping a damn knife on my foot. All right, so we got, we got that, we got that in. We're moving right along real quick, guys. Billy Ford at Apex Alchemy is an awesome dude. If you're not subscribed to Billy, you need to do so. A couple of weeks ago, I did a review on this Emerson Rendezvous. It's one of my favorite knives, one of my favorite Emersons. It really is. I know I didn't just, okay. So I'm saying I've cut myself all week. You can see the, the fingers healing there, looking good. But Billy Ford over at Apex Alchemy is donating this to the raffle. Again, thank you, my brother. I am an Emerson fan. Now I'm gonna clean this one up Lacey from EDC and Lace. Check her out. EDC and Lace did put the polished edge on this. I've got to clean this one up. It's sharp as shit. I just nicked myself with it. So, big shout out to Billy Ford. Shout out to uh, EDC and Lace. Listen, let me do this. JR, y'all hear that name every video. 10 Man Collection. Bobby Shue, I'm about to show you Bobby's stuff. Frank, dude, thank you, Frank. Thank you so much. Sabo, y'all hear Sabo a lot, and Billy Ford. So Billy Ford, Sabo, Frank, Bobby Shue, Tin Man Collections, and JR. Those are all the folks who sent the knives. I want to make sure that we give everybody credit. Now, here's the deal, guys, while I'm opening this. Listen, here's what you do. There is a link in the description to Donnie B. All Day's PayPal. Tickets are $5 per ticket. You go to Donnie B. All Day. You donate directly to him. I don't take in any money, none. None, nobody does. If anybody says they take in any money on this raffle, you let me know immediately because that, that shit ain't happening. The only person getting money is Donnie B all day. Now, somebody asked me about Venmo and, and Cash App and all that. If you want to check with Donnie, if he'll accept it that way, if he's got set up that way, then certainly all you have to do is screenshot the receipt. What I've asked people to do is the PayPal, screenshot the receipt, send it to the email, link in the description, I will, I will put, I will reply to you that night or the next day. I will reply to you within 24 hours. You're in the raffle. Thank you. That kind of thing. That being said, th that part is very important. I'm, I don't want to hear what I, I, Donnie can look it up. Donnie's sick. That's why we're doing this. The man has health issues. He's sick. So the easiest way to do it is just screenshot it, email it to me. Now my boy, Bobby Shue, who is just super dope. I like Bobby a lot. He has the Cat Panion. He has the Bobcat. He has the Hellcat. He's just an awesome, awesome guy. Um, he sent two knives to donate. And guys, let me tell y'all something. Listen to me. People have said, man, I wish I could do more. Listen to me. Don't discount what you're doing. If you can't donate to the raffle, if you can't donate a knife, you can share the video. And to everybody who hits like, Everybody who comments, and y'all know I don't ask y'all to do that shit. 
everybody who likes and comments, everybody who donates, everybody who shares, thank you. You're part of it. We got to come together and help each other out. Bobby sent, sent this S. Well, let me open it. Make sure because I can't remember now. I know the one knife he sent because I own one. It's one of his designs that works up years picking up. It's badass. Y'all see it a lot. I've actually done a hard use on it, but I don't think that's this knife. Let me um, let me get this open. God, Bobby. All right. This is an Ontario Rat 5. A phenomenal knife. Matter of fact, this might be the first Rat 5 I've ever put my hands on. Great knife. Feels great in hand. I absolutely love this knife. So we got a Rat 5. And again, guys, you can kind of see what we're building towards here. We're going to have one of the baddest ass raffles. Now, that's not to mention, that's not to mention Joe at JS Bladecraft. He's putting in a Tachi sword. I learned what a Tachi sword was yesterday. It's damn dope. So we've got like a Tachi, like a Katana. we got all this stuff. And people say, Scott, do you think you're the QVC? Let me tell you something. Tonight, I'm the biggest QVC on this son bitch. You hear me? we got to raise some money and we got to get going. I ain't got time to do all that other shit. At $5 a raffle ticket, yeah, to win, to, to, to have a chance to get like that TM hunt, to get any of this stuff, I promise you, each prize package is going to be, I don't know how we'll do, they're going to be evenly done monetarily, but you're looking at a couple, at, at, at the damn customs we got are between four and six hundred dollars, okay? So, it's going to be some expensive prize packages. Bobby, I don't know what you do for a living, son, but you ought to get a job wrapping shit. Holy hell, I would not want to get a Christmas present for you. Good God, man. All right. This is insanely dope. This is the Bobcat. This could be treated like another custom life. Look at this sheath, man. The dopeness is real. Leather sheath feels insane. Now, this knife I love. I have no qualms telling you that. I got mine sitting on the other side of the table, as a matter of fact. I don't know why. This one was made by Battle Horse. Now, this is the knife getting picked up by Work Tough Gear. Unfreaking believable. And we're at 20 minutes. We've got to hurry up. Work Tough Gear is picking this knife up. I am over the moon for Bobby. But it's gonna, this knife is in our raffle. Okay, now, I've got, I left the one Work Tough Gear I was going to donate in the damn truck. I'll, I'll pause the video in a minute and go get it. The TM Hunt. Let's go on to JR. The TM Hunt. This knife is insane. It's the M18. Okay, here's something that I learned from John Stitt the other night. If you haven't seen that interview with John Stitt, the CEO from K-Bar, it's an amazing interview. He's an awesome guy, knew his history. This is an Ethan Becker handle. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Because I was just describing the knife, and, and you can ask Joe from JS Bladecraft. If you're not subscribed to Joe, do, do that. Because Joe is a big part of Blade Talk, and Blade Talk's kicking ass right now. But I was describing the knife. He goes, man, that, John was like, I think that's the TM Hunt, and he used Ethan Becker's handle. He got permission. He hit it spot on. My car to handles. I've got a hard use review on this. That's what we are. We're a hard use channel. I know you can't tell that by the last two weeks, but starting tomorrow, we're going to get right with the good Lord and we're going to start swinging again. My, my fingers healed. We're going. Look at that. That's wicked. A lot of edges, a lot of blades. And here's the thing. It is not practical. This ain't a practical raffle. This ain't a raffle to see who can get the most boring knife. This is a raffle to help a guy out. Okay? Now, I, I've asked Billy... Uh, Billy Ford and all them boys at Apex and Sabo, they're going to do a lot of like pushing this for me. Uh, Bob, the knife junkie, brother, I love you. He's going to help promote it. And I'm asking him to do it because I have to watch my emotions because Donnie is like a brother to me. So I just got to be careful. That was from JR. You knew JR was going to come with the heat. This is another one from JR. This is the Gurkha Kukri Plus. It's in 4034. Make sure I said that right. 4034, 40, I actually have a hard use review with this cold steel blade. It is absolutely dope. I love the handle. Feels great in hand. Gurkha Kukri Plus, wicked, wicked blade. Cool ass sheath. And there's the dogs you knew. They had to jump in here at some point. Now, JR sent 
three folders. I'm going to show you the folder. I've got the paperwork right there. JR got tired of me butchering stuff, so he just started looking up the paperwork itself and sending it to me. <laughs> Thank you, brother. This right here, I'm gonna show you each one of these. Things wicked right there, son. That's in, what is that? 154 CM. It's got its custom serial number on it. Let me look this one up, guys. Give me just one second. If y'all know what it is, somebody's probably screaming at the screen now. Let me look it up. Of course, it's going to be the one on the damn bottom. Let me see what we got here. Okay, this is a Reich Toule. This is the Reich Toule. Beautiful knife. 154 CM. Really lightweight. Love this deep carry pocket clip. Great looking knife. Love it. Like that one. Okay. I'm more happy that I found out which one it was. Let me put this to the side. Put this one to the side. I'm, I'm trying to keep things separate, guys. I've got stuff strode out all over the damn house. Megan's going to kill me. I got my grandson coming Saturday. All right. Moving along. We've got a couple more to show you. This is the Migaron, Migaron something, Migaron, I can't, Migaron, it's an M390, I, hell, I don't know, y'all know what it is, shit, I can't open it, okay, there we go, that is a badass looking knife, it's an M390 steel, really great looking knife right there, I love that, bolster lock, see that on the side? Hit my finger with it. Really good. Okay, last one, and then I'm going to show you uh, the Jed Hornbeat Customs and my work tough gear that I'm donating. Now, this one, this one, I know that was a good look. This is uh, the Mito, the Elegant Maletta Design Mito. Gets a utilitarian transformation with a lightweight and rugged aluminum handle construction. It retains the innovative ref, removable flipper system, along with a double IKBS ball bearing. It's in M390 steel. It is amazingly dope. And this is the Mito. And I know that I have butchered these terms and names, and I am so sorry. And I guess, you know, here's the deal, too. I got a couple shorts that are just running crazy right now. One's near a million. This is from Lion Steel. One's near a million views, and we got another couple coming up. And people want to mention my, oh, you up I, I, this way, I've been this way 51 years, you dumb bastard. You don't think I don't know that? I got in trouble by And we're back. Sorry about that. Well, I don't know what I'm saying. Sorry, you don't even know we're going. Three knives left in this back. Here's the deal. Brandon Thrasher wants to donate a couple knives. Um, Tom Ritter had mentioned donating one. I'm not trying to put anybody on the spot. And Carl Ruger, shout out to all three of those. Thrasher's Garage, Tom Ritter is Tom Ritter, and Carl Ruger is Carl Ruger. Awesome guys. But here's what I want you to do. For you guys that I've asked to watch this video, put this stuff together in packages. Any other knives that come in, certainly we will welcome them in, but what we will do is put them in another package. The big thing again, guys, is to raise money for Donnie B all day. You guys are already doing that. You guys are, I'm telling you, I've got probably 12 to 13 emails already that I'm going to go through tonight, respond, and and and, and at least acknowledge and write down. That said, my, my part of the donation, I'm going to donate this Work Tough Gear Dringer. Never been used. It is a Dringer. It's, this one's in SK85. Uh, John Nelson Griffith is the designer. It is an absolute utilitarian beast. I have a hard use review on one just like this, but it doesn't have that G10 badass handle. I absolutely love this knife. It's, it's, you can look up what it's worth. It's on uh, Work Tough Gear. That's my, as part of my contribution. My other contribution is this. I bought this knife at, I believe this is the Kermit Hornet. I bought it at Blade Show from Jed Hornbeak. It's in CPM 3V. It is a Hornbeak Custom. I am donating this knife to the raffle. I will do a hard use review on it, however, and then it'll go, I'll clean it up, we'll get it sharpened up, and it'll go right into the raffle. Jed sent several knives for me to review. 
The thing about Jed Hornbeak knives is this, guys. He's got two, he's got multiples of these. If you are interested in getting a custom knife before the raffle ends, hit up Jed Hornbeak, just like it sounds. He's on Instagram or it's jedhornbeak at gmail.com. Full leather sheath. The man is absolutely amazing. So I'm donating a custom knife and the Dringer uh, work sharp. Now, Jed himself is donating a knife. He is donating the Kermit Rhodesian. I showed you guys this last night. It is an amazingly dope knife. Now, the Rhodesian's chisel grind. It is in CPM 3V. It's an asymmetrical handle, G10 handle scales. Wicked, wicked serrations, badass knife. Guys, that's what we got in so far. It's about a 30 minute video and I tried to hustle through it. More knives are coming in. The big thing is this. Go to Donnie B all day's PayPal, donate, screenshot it, send it to me, $5 a ticket. For what we've got here, you've got to be out of your mind. I'm telling you, Donnie himself is throwing in to whoever buys the most tickets, whether you win or not. He is donating a knife to you that's never been used, that's badass. There are a lot of knives going out. Donnie, I watched it today. He's selling more knives. He's selling his car. I think he's selling his bike. The man is doing what he has to do to get his medical condition taken care of. This is where we jump in. Listen, I can't say anymore. I'm scab. You're not. If you got questions, put them in the comments. I'll do my dead level best to answer them. I'm gone, son.